Hi YouTube family. I had hoped to do this video outdoors, but it got cold. So it's lunchtime and I'm hungry, so I'm going to do this video now. Um, and we even got our little, little, little campfire, <laughs> fake campfire here. All right. So have you ever eaten an MRE? I keep wanting to call them MRIs. An MRE is a meal ready to eat. Um, this is what is given to our military folks. Now these look way different for those of you who are older and served years ago. You know to to you guys like in my dad's day these are these ones are spoiled. My that's what my sister called them. She said they're spoiled because even she I think these are pretty recent actually because even she she didn't get MREs like this. And my brother-in-law, I think he said he got these towards the end of his service. He retired from the Air Force. Um, but they were nothing like this. These are these are pretty big. I've never had an MRE myself. But I'm going to have one today. <laughs> I've always kind of looked at them and went, ew. You know, those were the MREs of old. These are the new kind. And I'm very curious. I'm very, very curious. So it says it is a peelable seal. So we're supposed to be able, so let's imagine we're out in the woods and this is what we've got. So it says it's a peelable seal. So I guess we're gonna lift it from the top <clears throat> and, and peel. Now, if you're wimpy like I am, I don't know how peelable the seal is, but if you're starving, if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you're starving, you're going to get that seal broken one way or another. Peelable seal is what it said. Peelable seal. My sister bought 10 of these MREs and they were $300 for 10 MREs. She um she bought them during her stock up survival phase. Um, we still we still try to do that, but you know these these were going these are going to expire in December, so there's no point in just having them and not eating them. Yeah, I don't know about that peelable. I'm gonna assume someone who's stronger would be able to open this if you're out in the woods. Me, I would assume also that you carry something with you. Pocket knife or what have you. So I am just going to cut that right off. <laughs> if you're if you're weak or not very strong and and I now apparently have osteoarthritis. So it's a little harder for me. So let's see what is in this bag. I guess that bag could double as a, like a, um, a mat too. So it's pretty thick. It's like it's got a lot of a lot of stuff in it. And I know these have the heating the heaters in them, which my sister didn't have in hers. She was like, "This is spoiled." She had to eat her stuff cold. All right. So let's pull all this out and let's see what we got. I'm just going to dump it out over here beside me. And then we'll figure out what to do from there. I don't know. If I was ever out in the woods, I would probably die. <laughs> because I would be like, how in the world? Oh, my sister was talking about these. These cute little Tabasco bottles. She remembered getting these. Isn't that darling? Oh my gosh, that is adorable. <laughs> Sandy, not right now, girl. And this is called Hot Beverage Bag. To avoid a burn, beverage heating time should not exceed six minutes. Wow. So you open the bag, you fill it with water to the appropriate fill line, six, eight, or 12 ounces there. Um... Then you heat for four to six, you 
oh, remove airbag, then secure closure. Remove airbag. Uh, load beverage bag into an MRE sleeve. Discard. I'm gonna place this to the side so we get to that point. So that's what I mean. I would just I would die because I I don't know what is this thing. This is. Oh, I think this is the heater. Is this the heater? Heater. Yeah, this is the the heater thing. We have a spoon. We have grape jelly. We have beverage base powder, lemon lime, some lemon lime, uh, not fruit juice, lemon lime flavored. So like Kool-Aid probably. Uh, this is snack bread. So this is a multi-grain snack bread. This would be peanut butter. Oh, we got a little, look at this. We got a little Skittles bag in there too. Cool. And we have a, a bag of, there's matches. Let's see what's in, let's open this bag up. Let's open this bag, what do we got? We got some creamer non-dairy. So perfect for me because I don't. Some freeze-dried coffee. Sugar packet. Some little ticklets. This is got to be a paper towel. What is this? What is Tissues, tissues slash toilet paper. Cool. Uh, towelette. Uh, salt. And a book of matches. And this is, oh, it's vanilla pound cake. Wow, look at this. This is cool. I know there's some of you out there going we did not get that in ours <laughs> this is the this is the this is for the beef stew and this is the actual beef stew so all right So there's no water needed for this. It's it's just there. So let's see. This is the back talking about the um, nutritional value of it all. Ingredients. Diced. See, Sandy girl. Diced seasoned cooked beef with water. Beef water modified cornstarch. Water carrots, potatoes, peas modified food starts. Da, 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 da. All right. There's no instructions on this. <laughs> I assume that's where this comes in handy. This is for your beverage. So this will be this would be for the coffee. So this is where I'm going to get con real confused on how this works. So this is the heater. Okay, good. There's instructions on this. Vapors released by the activated heater contain hydrogen, a flammable gas. Do not place an open flame in the vapor. Vapors released by activated heater can displace oxygen when 10 or more heaters are used inside. Okay. Operating instructions. So you have the... See, remove, oh, so I guess we're supposed to reuse this bag. Remove MRE pouch and paperboard sleeve from MRE. Tear off the top of the pouch, or is it, or is it this? Place MRE pouch in the bag with the heater. From the paper, sorry guys, I'm learning as I go. 
So, okay, so it looks, okay. So it looks like this whole thing, I know those of you out there who have used these are going, nope, that's not right. <laughs> Or, yep, that's right. All right, so it's, it says I'm going to need some water. While holding MRE pouch and heater above lines on the bag. So, pour water into the bag until it matches the level between the lines. Then slide heater and MRE to the bottom of the bag. Are they talking about this bag? I can't be talking about this bag. Fill two lines, do not overfill. And then with heater underneath the MRE, hold sleeve level until heater feels warm or until one minute elapses. Okay. So, all right. So let me, let me get some water. I'll be right back. Okay, so, so, so I've removed the MRE pouch and paper board from the MRE bag. Tear off the top of the bag. I'm only guessing that they're talking about this thing. It's got to be because that other thing is for the drink. And again, I ain't tearing anything. Okay, bag's open. Tear off the top of the bag. Place MRE pouch in the bag with the water. Do not overfill. You know, we're talking about this thing. So we're gonna put we're gonna put this in first. And then there's lines there's lines on the back of Alright, so we've got the 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 stew in the bag. I'm learning as I go. <laughs> um Tear off the top, place the pouch in the bag with water. So, holding the MRE pouch and heater above the lines on the bag, because I imagine the heater's probably going to get pretty hot. Um, pour water into the bag until it reaches a level between the lines. Between lines. What lines? I mean, there's lines on the back. Oh, okay. I can I can see it now through their thing. Okay. Um, I'm still going to hold it up here. Until I reach the between lines. Then slide heater and MRE to the bottom of the bag. Okay. Tear off the top of the bag pouch. Tear off the top of bag. Place MRE pouch in bag with heater. In bag with heater. I did that already. <laughs> Y'all ain't making sense. They just are not. Okay. And then pour three says while holding the MRE pouch and heater above the lines on the bag. Okay. 
side heater to the bottom. Pour the water into the bag. All right, well, I, I'm not sure about this water part. I'm just going to hold on to it. I'm just going to hold on to it and hope that I'm doing this right because <laughs> I, I just honestly, I don't know. All right, so I've got the water in there. To the oh my. So then... Then you got to place it in this thing. Ooh, it's boiling. Oh my God, it's boiling. Ah! Can y'all see that? It's literally the water's boiling. I'm going to see if I can get it in here. That's why you don't overfill. Okay. For a minute. Fill two lines and overfill. Okay. With heater underneath MRI. Hold sleeve level until heater feels warm or until one minute elapses. Alexa, set a timer for one minute. One minute. Starting now. Prevent water from escaping. Always keep heater located underneath the MRI. Bag folded over top of MRI and sleeve inclined with folded end of bag. After 10 to 15 minutes, top half of bag can be torn off. Oh, so it's like put it on a rock or something to hold it upwards. That makes sense. So, okay. So while that, we're going to pretend this is a rocket that I have found in the woods. <laughs> and we're going to prop this sucker up here like this. I got to admit, the, the instructions to me are a little confusing. It's saying, yeah. Alexa, stop. What are you supposed to do after a minute? Underneath the heater feels warm or until one minute. To prevent water from escaping, maximize heat output. Always keep the heater located underneath. Then it says, see... After 10 to 15 minutes, depending on air temperature, top half of bag can be torn off. Oh, okay. All right, so we're going to do... The water's hot. That water's hot. Okay, we'll do it. Set it up. So, okay. Alexa, set a timer for one minute. That is so cool that it's boiling. Starting now. And I'm using this, the bag that it came in as my, this is my first time doing this. I know once I've done it, I'll be able to do it again without any trouble. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't do this outside though. I would have been really confused. Like, oh no, I need this. I need it. But, but the only thing I have grabbed from the house are these scissors and the water. I'm trying to get my tissues back in the. Now, when it goes off this time, I'm going to take it out. Alexa, how much time is left? You have 10 seconds left on your one minute timer. Alexa, stop. So I'm going to be very careful here because 
I know that this water, this water is hot. I don't want to breathe in this fume, so I'm just going to remove the MRI. I'm going to set that bag right there, and I'm going to put this back in the pouch for a few minutes. Is this... See, I don't feel like this is... I'm just going to kind of smoosh it around. I feel like this is still kind of... I feel like it still needs to be heated more. I feel like it needs to be heated more. It's not boiling anymore. But I feel like it needs more heat. I don't know. Okay. All right. I'm going to trust the process. Let me set that there. And I'm going to set this in the pouch. It says after 10 or 15 minutes, you can eat it. So I'm going to just pause the video so I can get rid of this. Okay, so I got, I just wanted to get rid of that, um, that, ba that bag with the heater thing in one. I got to let it cool down in the sink. Okay, while I'm letting this beef stew sit and do whatever it's doing. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to make the coffee because I already have I already have some tea here. Um, so I'm not going to make this coffee. We'll save that. But I am so very hungry. So let's see. So we don't. I'll leave the sugar later. This is some salt. I don't know if I'll need that for the stew or not. Um, we've got our towelette. We've got our ticklets. And so this is this is, would be for the coffee. I'm not going to use that. Um, I do, let's try the, um, oh, well, you know what, we can actually, let's make this, um, let's make this drink. So, for a half a canteen, <laughs> which is about 12 ounces of water, I don't have that much water here, how much do I have here? Um, I've got, oh, I do, I've got like 12 ounces, okay. Um, add the water to the contents and stir. Allow water, just chemically purified, to stand 30 minutes before adding beverage powder. All right, well, we're gonna use, we're gonna use this pouch. We're just gonna use this and then add the powder, okay. So let me go ahead and open the powder. Boy, this is this is interesting. <laughs> if you've never done an MRE before, hopefully you can sympathize. I have not. So yeah, this is my first time. First time with an MRE. All right, so we're gonna fill it to the 12 ounce mark. Oh, yeah, I am trying so hard not to spill this all over the place. Okay. So we've got... Okay, there's 12 ounces of water. Let's add the powder. You know, I guess... Imagine yourself on a field somewhere. If you're in battle and whatnot, I guess you would use a straw to drink it right out of here. Or um, pour it into your canteen, maybe. For this, I'm going to pour it back into the measuring cup. I'm 
going to pour it back into the measuring cup there. I'm scared. <laughs> Not bad, actually. It's actually pretty good. And here we have, this is the snack bread. This one tears open really easy. Oh, this stuff has a decent amount of protein in it. Smells really good. Mmm. 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 I feel like it's got blueberries in it. Multi grain snack bread. But I definitely taste blueberries. I hope that's blueberries. So here's here's the peanut butter. So we squeeze that on, spread that out onto the bread. I bet you could use that heating pouch to melt that peanut butter some too. And then this is the grape jelly. I only use about half of this jelly and spread that out. Mm. These meals, I can tell. I mean, you can just tell from the consistency. Um, I don't know what they were like back back before these new ones, but this is my first MRE ever. I think they were definitely made to give you energy and fill you up. Mm. delicious my OCD is bothering me with all the little trash I have up here <laughs> so I'm just going to clean some of this up I don't use Tabasco sauce I think I'm going to Save this and give it to my sister. She was talking about these cute little bottles the other day. Mm. That's very good. Oh. Let me move that. It's been long enough. Now it's time for the main event. Let's try this beef stew. Oh, Lord. I want to cut it straight across. It looks like it is meant to kind of go diagonal. Let's get a look see first. So this is what it looks like. Mm. 
I'm just going to kind of stir things up a little. Y'all want to try the first bite? No? Nah. <laughs> it smells like stew. See, it's, it's cold to me. Maybe I didn't do it right. It said one minute. And then let it sit. It's cold. But I feel like if I let it sit in there longer. I mean, it's not cold, cold. It's room temperature. I feel like if I let it sit longer, mm, excuse me, um, in the in the, with in the heat heater, mm, then it would have heated all the way through. It's really good though. Mmm, there's a lot. There's a lot in there. There's a lot in there. There's a lot of food. This is a lot of food. I think I'm going to save the rest of this. I'll get a clip and clip it off. And um, I hate some in the microwave later. <laughs> mm. This is real good. It's a lot of food. It really is a lot of food. There's a lot of stew in here. And this is... It's a lot. I'm going to end up putting this in a baggie, too. Mm. It's delicious. It's so delicious. And we've got a dessert, vanilla pound cake. I'm already full. I don't know what they do with these things. I'm already full. And I, I ate like half of this and maybe a fourth of the stew. I'm, I am full already. This is a... Vanilla pound cake. Yeah, man, I'm telling you. And they put one of these um, moisture. Oh, it smells good. I mean, hmm. yeah, definitely delicious. No way can I finish it. I'm, I'm full. I am so full, and I haven't eaten anything today until now, and it is it's one thirty. So this how much I ate out of this, this, and half of this, and then about a fourth of the stew. I am full. I wonder what they do out. You know, if you're out, I don't see a way to save it. I mean, I'm I'm going to bag stuff up.
Yeah, but they're definitely meant to fill you up. The stew says, um, there's 20 grams of protein in the stew by itself. 20 grams of protein. That's what's filled. That's what fills you up. The snack bread, four grams of protein. This grape jelly, probably not a lot of protein, I wouldn't guess. There's no protein in that. Um, where'd the peanut butter one go? Come here, little peanut butter. This is the pound cake. Is there any protein? There's four grams of protein in the pound cake. I think I put the peanut butter thing in here already. Peanut butter. This one has seven grams of protein. So if you're so these are really good for protein, I think. This has got all the um the X in the table below shows which vitamins or minerals have been added to each component. MRE menus are designed to meet the unique nutritional needs of war fighters. For detailed nutrition on combat rations, visit hprc excuse me dash online.org slash comrade. I don't think the average person is meant to eat these. Because I am so full. But, I mean, I easily can split this up into two, maybe three meals. But I've got work to do. And I, I feel energized. I feel like, yeah, man, I'm full of energy, actually. I feel like I've got enough energy to go to finish, you know, the stuff I'm doing around the house today. Oh, my God. And I'm starting to talk faster. Mm-hmm. Lots of energy in these M MREs. $300, though, for 10 of them. This will not go to waste. <laughs> I didn't buy them. My sister bought them. Um, we were, you know, survival stuff. And I'm going to give this cute little... I guess you would just pour this into your stew if you wanted some extra flavor. But and then we got these little chiclets. Let's, let's try the chiclets. I don't know about just tearing stuff open out there. I, I hope y'all carry knives and whatnot. Wait, so. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Woo! Strong. I don't know what. When they're. Wintergreen, maybe? Mm, I'm not a big gum fan. I just wanted to taste it. <laughs> uh, that ruined the taste that was in my mouth. Mm -mm. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Well... This is what our soldiers are getting. They're being fed well. Happy to see that. They're extremely filling. I'm going to put the rest of this up and get some stuff done. So that was my first MRE. Have you ever eaten an MRE before? Are you military? How have these MREs changed from the ones that, if you got the old ones, from the ones that you got before these? Let us know in the comments. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Guys, like, share, and subscribe. This was fun. Like I said, I wanted to do this outside, but it's just too cold. And But this was still fun. Oh, and I can't forget my Skittles. Going to add this to my snack basket on my kitchen counter. Oh, it's sour Skittles at that. <laughs> it matches the... Yeah, a lot of protein. I'm, I'm buzzed. I don't know why. All of a sudden, I have a lot of energy. So I'm going to go use that. I love you guys. Mwah. God bless. Thank you so much for being here. Love each and every one of you. Appreciate each and every one of you. Let's let's be safe and put out our, our little campfire. <laughs> God bless. Mwah. Bye.